Hey guys, recently I was on the Ziltech.com website and I noticed they had a new type of filament out. It's a PLA, it's a composite, and they call it silk. So I bought the emerald green and the gold and I wanted to try it out. And as you can see from these prints and others I will show you, it's some pretty neat stuff. Are you ready? Let's do this. coffee nectar of the gods welcome back guys so first of all welcome to where nerdy is cool my name is paul welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before well i cover 3d printing r2 building bb8 stormtrooper stuff batman suits if it's out there i'm into it if you're already a subscriber welcome back that said, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you click the button in the corner over here and become one. I have a lot of content on my channel I think you might find useful. So, welcome back. So as I mentioned in the intro, recently I was scanning through the Ziltech.com website and I saw Composite Silk PLA. What could that be? Read the description and I noticed that the skill level was listed as moderate. Ah. Challenge accepted. Now look, I use Ziltech PLA for a lot of my projects. What I like about them is, and I'm trying to use the word very carefully, their material is cheap. I mean, I'm not saying it's a low quality or anything like that, but I mean, it's very inexpensive. I mean, I'm buying spools of their material for less than 20 bucks. And for years, I've been using brand name stuff like ColorFab and Matte Forge and Polyalchemy Elixir and stuff like that. That costs way more. This stuff prints great. So let me tell you about the Silk PLA. The, they mentioned the skill level as moderate, and just meaning you're gonna have to experiment a little bit to find the right temperature range. Now here is what worked for me. Most of my PLA prints, generally 200, 205 degrees Celsius. With this material, I found if I did the first layer at 217, uh, that was great, and then all subsequent layers I did at 212. If you've ever used Polyalchemy Elixir, uh, you'll notice that when you prime that material, you kind of get like a little inchworm effect. Same story here. Now, whether or not they're using the same secret sauce or secret blend with a kernel secret recipe, I don't know. But what I can tell you that what I like about this material is that, again, this stuff is inexpensive. We're talking $15.95 a roll. And we have a coupon code, remember? So if you use the coupon code NERDYISCOOL, you're gonna save 15% right there. Now, I wish they had more colors, but this stuff comes out really nicely when it's printed. So like any other material that's brand new, I went through and did a few extrusion uh, tests, uh, the extrusion multiplier test rather. Um, you can find that on Thingiverse. I will link that in the description below if you've never done that. That helps you kind of nail down the flow, whether you're putting out too much or too little of the material because it's a new material you want to make sure you dial it in just right. Once you have that done, away you go with the printing. And the prints I got from this material were great. Layer lines, where are they? I don't see them. I'm only printing at 0.2 millimeter layer height and they look great. Like I said, the only rub with this material right now is there's only three colors. They only have white, emerald green, and gold. And the green, like I said, in the, in the close-ups you're gonna see here, but I did some prints last night, and I mean, the green is amazing. This is gonna go on the TiVo Tornado. I mean, how fitting, right? It's green. So there you go. So there it is, kind of a quick video. I know you guys like it when I post videos, so here it is, kind of a quick mini review. I'm looking forward to see what you guys think. I'm hoping Ziltech introduces more colors because I know black, blue, and a few other colors, especially orange, I'd love to get some good orange, uh, would be exceptional to see with this kind of material that they've developed. So that's our video for this time. Remember, you can catch me on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. I post stuff usually every couple of days showing you what I'm working on. So be sure to check me out over there. So thanks for watching. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Stay nerdy, guys.